Hey, Stu. Yeah. You know how you know it's spring? When it's time to get new bees. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. We're totally on the same page. You know what's pretty epic about this bee pickup? Is it that three of us got stung? <laughs> That's exactly what it was. Yeah. We were doing pretty well. Yeah, but we got into a swarm. Yeah. And that was kind of the end of the road. Yeah. We all survived, oiled up, suited up, got those bees where they belonged in the end. And I suppose that's all that really matters. Yep. They're doing pretty well. Why do we have bees? <sighs> the honey, honey. You they know give that's us delicious why. honey. It's, it's so good. Honestly, beyond the honey too, I love the life that they bring to the gardens. They're constantly around. So when you walk through, you see them going from, you know, flower to flower to flower. It just kind of adds life. It's like having a house plant that gives you honey. They are amazing creatures. Or stings you in the face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. We've got our three hives working away, some ducklings growing, some flowers blooming. I'd say spring's been pretty good to us. We've had lots of full, full days. Oh yeah, the stair project was one of those ones that we wanted to tick off the list, Yep, which we did. Thanks to Uncle Jeremy. Yep. Thanks, Jeremy. I loved how they turned out, especially with recycled material we had on the farm. I mean, yeah. it only cost us two bags of mortar. Yeah, this is just stuff that we had laying around from other projects and it just needed to be done. That little space was, it wasn't working for us. No, and now I can get down to my greenhouse without almost dying. That's true. Boom. Lots of good showings of flowers. Oh. It's just been amazing. I love the daffodil and tulip combination that you did in Thanks. the gardens. That was a real, a real cool thing. It's amazing how day by day the flowers and gardens change. And I find myself wanting to just be out there for hours on end every day to soak it up because I know tomorrow it's going to be different. It's fun when you do the layered garden because you s see what you can look forward to. It, nothing comes all at one time at all. It's it, true. It, it kind of comes in, in layers. and comes in waves. Yeah, and it's um, you always have something on the, on the horizon to look forward to. It's true. As soon as the Queen of the Nights fades, something else will come and take its place. Mm -hmm.
How's it looking? Good. That was a good idea to use the the grapevine trimmings. Think it'll be here in a hundred years? <sighs> no, I love the way that this the vine kind of adds that rustic element to it. Gives a little bit of height, a little bit of interest. Yeah. Something out of nothing. I like these because you can get a really fun bend on them. Yeah, they are pretty bendy. Most Makes of them. Makes it easy, yeah. And every year we can add maybe a few more. Yeah, just keep building it. We'll have quite a few. And creating things. more too. I was thinking, you know, the courtyard can feel a little bit formal compared to our other spaces. Mm -hmm. And so a fence like this would, would do well in there. Yeah. So just kind of rough it up a bit. Yeah. I love it. This is our fifth year as beekeepers and I feel like every year we learn more and every year we get a little bit better. <laughs> that doesn't mean we always have 100% survival of the hive during winter, but it does mean at least we have a better idea of what to look for. What? <laughs> Did not mean to have those thoughts. It means we have a much better idea of what to look for and how to keep them happy and right now with all of the flowers in bloom, there's so much going on out in the gardens. They are very, very happy indeed. I was just talking about the bees. Yeah. Here's the bee man. Mm -hmm. The only one who didn't get stung the other day when we were moving them in. It's true. Juliet well, and I both took, took one on the eye. It was our fault. We didn't have our gear on. And it was when we were picking them up and there was just a ton of nukes everywhere. So there were a lot of bees. So it was kind of our bad. But. We survived. We survived. It's worth it to keep bees, even though you have to check them in those really hot suits. Um, and even though it's kind of a steep learning curve, having that honey from your own bees is so worth it. What do you think of the honey, do you? 
Do you like having the bees around? No. <laughs> Why not? Because they sting us. Sometimes they sting, huh? Mm -hmm. Where'd you get stung? But right here. Yeah. Did you learn any lessons about bees? Yeah. What? Like piano. Like piano. <laughs> couldn't, couldn't have said it better. This year's bees are already very busy indeed. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. They have a lot of work to do. They get all their comb to build and yep. you got lots of honey to store. Yeah, it's kind of nice starting with nukes because when you start with a nuke, that means you already have a laying queen in established frames. So it's literally just like picking it up and dropping it right into your bee box. If you don't get nukes, if you just order packages, then you have to introduce the workers to the queen, get her established and get her laying. So we kind of, we took a little bit of a short mm -hmm shortcut this year, which I'm really happy about because it wasn't, you know, everything's blooming now. We need them to be working. Mm -hmm. We need them to be focused. Yeah, it's prime time. Yep. So our bees are pointed kind of over this little crest of a hill right here, which is actually helpful because all of our gardens and our house are up here, uphill behind, behind the bees. That's okay. So basically what that does is it, it encourages the bees to go that direction and they don't really they don't do much up uh, i mean we, we see them up around the flowers and stuff but not in swarms or anything mostly their flight path is is that direction um which basically allows us to have them and not be in their hair and they're not in our hair because literally the last time that i walked here mm -hmm. to go up to the orchard yeah. I got a bee in my hair. That's right. And yeah. I realized afterwards I'd walked right into its flight path yeah. because they come out and go zoop right across about what, six feet in the air, would you say? Yeah. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Beware the flight path. And it, it's also helpful to think about that when you're deciding where to, your, your bees are going to be on your property. <laughs> <laughs> See what I did? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's true. You have to choose right. You got to get it right the first time. So now that the bees are settled into their homes, the gardens are doing their thing, you know what it's time for, right? Yeah, we got to get this pasture tilled over and replanted yep. and good pasture grass and some alfalfa for the animals. Yep. The annual ryegrass, it got us through, but it's time for it's time for a really good pasture here, which means a lot of tilling and a lot of dirt in our future. Yeah, the ryegrass was <laughs> was just meant to put nitrogen back into the soil and mm -hmm. make it good for, for planting a, a mm -hmm. proper pasture, mm -hmm. so. So now that they've mowed it down, we just gotta get that tiller hooked up to the tractor and get to work. That's right. On to the next thing. Indeed. <laughs>